I thought I would read um, some of this 1968 wine book. I'm going to Italian red wines in particular. They're pretty good. Um, and like a little bit less well known than French red wine, I would think. Anyways, hope you enjoy. Italian red wines. Two parts of Italy can grow wine, which is in the international first rank. Piedmont in the northwest is one, Chianti is the other. All their best wine is red. Red wine in Italy is as variable as white. Virtually none of the best is exported. British wine merchants, in particular, are extremely unadventurous about looking for it. Their generalized Barolos and Chiantis are never enough to convince anyone that it is worth going deeper. But splendid wines are there, which can stand comparison with anything except the finest of Carrés and Burgundies. Their character leads most naturally to comparison with ruined red wine, dark, tasty, and strong. I think it might be Rhone, I don't know. <laughs> Piedmont. Piedmont is, in the, is the Rhone Valley, the Burgundy, and the Champagne of Italy. Its sparkling Asti is the Champagne. It's its Grinolino and Dolcetto are the Beaujolais. Its Barolo and Gattinara are the great growths. Its Barbaresco, the second growths. Its Barbera, the Cote de Rhone. Nebbiolo is also the good everyday wine, and Fresa, the sparkling red, which even Burgundy cannot do without. It is wrong, of course, to compare these with French wines. They are not like them. Nor, like some wines which borrow plumage, do they desperately need the comparison. But Piedmont plays in Italy the role of all these areas in life in the life of France. Piedmont is a large province. It stretches from the French border eastwards almost to Milan, south almost to the Italian Riviera, and north past Lake Maggiore, right up to the Simplon Pass in the Alps. Turin is its capital, the city of Vermouth. I'm sorry about my horrible pronunciations. It's probably Turin. <laughs> Everywhere south and east of Turin, from Cuneo in the foothills of the Alps Maritimes, 30 miles from France to Navarra, just south of Lake Maggiore, in an almost north-south line 90 miles long, the wine is Italy's best. One great grape, the Nebbiolo, is as supreme in Piedmont as the Pinot is in Burgundy. Wine called just Nebbiolo, without any place name, is good, light, ordinary table wine. Nebbiolo from the district where the three towns of Alba, Asti, and Alessandria are strung out along the river Tanaro is best. The great names here are Barolo and Barbaresco. The tendency of wine names to start with bar is even more marked than that of towns to begin with A. We still have to deal with Barbera, and to avoid further confusion, Bartolino, though it is a stranger in these parts. Barolo and Barbaresco are both village names. They are the two classic Nebbiolo wines, with Barolo the heavier and better of the two, needing more age. Old Barolo has an almost freakish amount of scent, a really rich and spicy, slightly autumnal smell, with a faint suggestion of dead leaves and mushrooms, but very far from being dead itself. Ten-year-old Barolo from one of the best estates, Marchesi di Barolo, Franco Fiorina, and the Istituto Tecnico Agrario Viticolo Enologico Statale at Alba. It's almost brick red, slightly sweet at first, but intense in flavor, dry and lingering at the end. It is one of the world's great wines. I wonder if that still exists. I gotta look this up. It's been like 50 years since this book was published. There is a vast modern winemaking establishment at the old royal hunting box of Fontana Freda in Barolo in beautiful hilly country, which is well worth a short drive out from Tur Turin if you were ever there. Unfortunately, it is at Fontana Freda that they make, beside Barolo and Asti Spumante, 
an aperitif of old Parolo and quinine, one of the most absurd uses of good wine I have ever heard of. Bavaresco is a less heavy, scented, and impressive wine than Barolo. It is not the hardness to be softened down by time. It has not the hardness to be softened down by time before it is at its best. For this reason, it is often a safer wine to choose. Both come into what the Italians call the great roast wine category, meaning that they are wines to be drank with great roasts or great wines to drink with roasts. Barbera. This is not the name of a village, although it would seem reasonable to suppose that it was the neighbor of Barbaresco. The Barbera is a grape. The wine has not the body or strength or flavor of Nebbiolo. It is good, not fine. It has a tendency to sharpness, but makes good care of wine. In Turin, I have had it with the amazing fonduta, a rich puddle of melted cheese and eggs and butter over which you shave slivers of the curious, dank-tasting white truffle of Piedmont. It was more than a satisfying combination. Bartolino, I should add here, because it is always being confused with the similar sounding wines of Piedmont, is a light and delicious red wine from the shore of Lake Garda near Verona. Dolcetto Grignolino. Dolcetto grapes are grown everywhere in the Langhe Hills where Barolo and Barbaresco are found. They make the Beaujolais of the area. Light, sometimes fruity red wine to be drunk very young. There is some better and higher strength wine made of Grignolino, but it is hard to find. Gattinara, Gam Vino Spana. The end of our line north towards Lake Maggiore is around Novara and Vercelli, a country more famous for its rice than its wine. The Nebbiolo is called the Spana here. It produces a wine which, although I have never seen it outside of Italy, is as good as Barolo. Gattinara and Gem are the two main producing areas which usually give the wine its name, although it is sometimes just called Vino Spana. The firm of Antonio Vallana makes a superb Spana wine. It has great color even at 10 years old and the same spicy scent as Barolo. Lombardi the best wine of Lombardy, the next province going east, is from the extreme north, from a mere crack in the mountain Alps where the river Adda forces its way through and forms a narrow, spectacular Valtellina. Valtellina, the north wall of the Valtellina, is not unlike the north wall of that other valley, the Rhone in Switzerland, where the Alps give way to the power of water and allow the growing of wines. Vines. <laughs> Above it is the Swiss border. And though there is no way of getting there except on foot, St. Moritz. Opposite it, the south wall is no good for anything. It is too steep that it is in almost perpetual shadow. Sassella, Brumello, Inferno, Castel Tioro. In vineyards which appear from down below the flat valley floor to be vertical, the wines of the Valtellina are grown. The best all have the delightful names of Sassella, Grumello, and Inferno. All are made from the great Nebbiolo grape, which here has yet another name, Cavanasca, mixed with a little of two or three other varieties. Wow, well, I have not heard of most of these, but I want to try them at some point. Thank you.